In this video, I'm going to show how you can perform a sample collection and build your design in VMware ARIA Operations Management Pack Builder. What you'll need to have set up beforehand is a source, one or more requests, and one or more objects. Once you have that, you'll also need to make sure that there are no validation errors along anything in your design. If you do, you can go to that spot and update those objects that have those validation errors. And once they do no, no longer have those errors, you'll be able to perform collection. In this design, we've gone through a series of videos where we've set up different sections. So I also have relationships and events in this design. So once you have all this set up and you go to the build step, you'll see that the perform collection button is enabled. Um, and the build button is disabled. Um, you'll need to perform a collection before you can build the management pack. And before we select this perform collection, we can update and adjust the uh, collection options here. So the first one is what level we want to report the logs from. Uh, so if you're doing more troubleshooting, you can set it to, to bug. And if you just wanna make sure you don't have any errors, you can set it to warn. And in this case, I'm gonna the default is info. So I'm gonna leave that so I can watch the progress. The next option is if you're using and referencing any external ARIA operations object types, either because you're extending the metrics or you're relating to them or attaching events to them, you'll have an option to select what ARIA operations environment you want to reference. In this case, I'm gonna use this one and then you can perform your collection and you'll see the progress of your collection uh, as it is happening. Um, and once it's complete, you'll be brought over to the summary tab. And we can see very high level information like that it was successful, how long it took to complete, how many objects, metrics, and properties, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm gonna jump over to the events since I have 11 events here. And for each of the events, you can see if you had different event kinds, which kind of event triggered, and you can look at the message. And additionally, you can see what object the event was attached to. So if you see it a particular one, you can also jump from that um, event over to the object it was attached to. And for each object on the objects tab, you'll be able to see the identifiers, any metrics or properties that it has, events and its relationships. So in this case, it has two parents, the cluster object, as well as the adapter instance. If you're looking for any particular object, you can sort by, uh, you can either filter them by the type or you can filter them um, by the object name. Once you, uh, everything's looking the way you expect and you want for your test collection, you can perform a build. And so here we just select the build option and once it's complete, we will have a little pop-up explaining um, what we just built. So we built the rubric management pack. This is the version that we're building, and this is the pack file. And we can download it right away if we want to start to test install it in an environment, or we can just go home, or we can just kind of close out. If you do have everything uh, completed and you want to find this build later, again, you can find that on the home page. So when you go into landing, you'll see your each of your designs. Uh, obviously their current design status, if they're valid or not, as well as any previous builds you've made. So we can open this up and we can go ahead and download uh, download or delete this uh, particular pack. And that's how you can perform test collection and build using the VMware ARIA Operations Management Pack Builder.